so guys welcome to our channel once again in today's video on our jam biology exam revision series we are going to consider these 20 questions on the local biomes so guys specifically we'll be considering the deserts the guinea savannah the sahel savannah the the highlands of mountain forests and grasslands and as well the tropical rainforest so guys in short to stay till the end of this video if at any point you feel you want to answer the question before we provide the answer guys please go ahead and pause the video and try out to see if you can get the answer to this question even more before we provide the answer thereafter so here we'll start with the first question it says in which of the following biomes is the southwestern part of nigeria located a desert b tropical rainforest c tropical woodland d temperate forest so guys the answer to this question is option b and that is tropical rainforest the southern the southwestern part of nigeria is located in the tropical rainforest and this is the area characterized by high rainfall and warm temperature throughout the year so let's consider the next question question number two it says which of the following statements is correct about southern guinea savannah in nigeria a it has plant species like iroko or pepe etc b it has very low rainfall c it is the largest of all biotic community in nigeria and d it has no tree so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's that it is the largest of all biotic communities in nigeria so actually the southern guinea savannah is the largest of all the biotic community in nigeria found in oyo ocean ekiti and so on so guys that's the answer to this question so let's quickly look at the next question here that's question number three it says the mangrove swamp in nigeria is restricted to the a sahel savannah b guinea savannah c sudan savannah d tropical rainforest so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the tropical rainforest the mangrove swamp in nigeria is found in the coastal region which is part of the tropical rainforest so let's consider the next question question number four it says the local biome which is characterized by little or no rainfall high temperature and the few grasses is the a tropical rainforest b guinea savannah c tropical grassland and d desert so guys the correct answer to this question is option d and that's the desert the desert is the local biome that is characterized by high temperatures low rainfall and sparse vegetation so guys that's the typical characteristic of a desert so let's look at the next question guys that's question number five we have here use the list of biomes below to answer the question below so we have one desert two rainforest three southern guinea savannah four northern guinea savannah so the question here says a biome with a low annual rainfall few scattered trees within dense layer of grasses and found in Kano and Kasina states we have options a 1 b 3 c 2 and d 4 so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's 4 and that's the northern guinea savannah so actually the description given in the question matches the characteristics of the northern guinea savannah so this biome is characterized by a low annual rainfall, a few scattered trees with a dense layer of grasses, and then it's found in the Kano and the Castina seeds. So guys, let's look at the next question, and that's question number six. It says, low annual rainfall, sparse vegetation, high diurnal temperatures and cold nights are characteristic features of the a deserts b tropical rainforest c guinea savannah d mountain forest so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the desert so let's look at the next question question number seven it says 
In Nigeria, the Guinea Savannah Belt borders the A. Rainforest and Sudan Savannah B. Mangrove Swamp and the Sahel Savannah C. Forests and Deserts D. Deserts and Sudan Savannah So guys, the answer to this question is option A and that's the Rainforest and the Sudan Savannah In Nigeria, the Guinea Savannah Belt borders the Rainforest and the Sudan Savannah the Guinea Savannah is a type of grassland that is found between the rainforest and the Sudan Savannah. So it is characterized by tall grasses and scattered trees. So let's quickly go ahead and look at the next question. And that's question number eight. It says, the Southern Guinea Savannah differs from the Northern Guinea Savannah in that it has a less grasses and scattered trees b lower rainfall and shorter grasses c more rainfall and taller grasses d less arboreal and burrowing animals so guys the correct answer to this question is option c and that's more rainfall and taller grasses the southern guinea savannah differs from the northern guinea savannah in that it has more rainfall and taller grasses so this is due to the fact that the southern guinea savannah is closer to the equator and therefore it receives more rainfall the increased rainfall here guys promotes the growth of taller grasses so let's consider the next question guys question number nine it says a state in nigeria that is most susceptible to desert encroachment is a. Taraba B. Kaduna C. Kwara D. Castina So guys, the answer to this question is option D and that's the Castina. Castina is a state in Nigeria that is most susceptible to desert encroachment. So this is, this is due to the geographical location of the northern part of Nigeria, which is closer to the Sahara Desert. So the process of desert encroachment, which is not a desertification, is the transformation of arable and habitable land into a desert so guys out of these states here the one that has or that is most susceptible to desert encroachment is the castina state so let's consider the next question and that's question number 10 it says the presence of tall trees broad leaves and buttress roots are characteristic features of the a tropical rainforest b guinea savanna c sudan savanna d desert so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the tropical rainforest so the presence of tall trees broad leaves and buttress roots are all characteristic features of the tropical rainforest so let's consider the next question guys question number 11 it says the mambila plateau is a unique nigerian biome located in a bono state b benue state c plateau state and d taraba state so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the taraba state the Mambila Plateau is a unique Nigerian biome located in the Taraba state. So let's consider the next question, guys. And that's question number 12. Question number 12 here says, In which of the following biomes is the southwestern part of Nigeria located? A. You have the tropical woodland. B. Tropical rainforest. C. Temperature forest and t desert so guys we've already answered this question long before now and i'd like you to guess rightly the answer to this question like you know already the answer to the question is the tropical rainforest so guys let's look at the next question question number 13 it says plants of temperate origin can be grown in tropical areas in the vegetation zones of the A. Sudan Savannah, B. Guinea Savannah, C. Mountain Forest, D. Rain Forest. 
So guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's the mountain forest. Mountain forests are found in cooler climates, mountainous areas. Because of the cooler climates, they are able to support plant species from temperature latitudes, which are not adaptable to the heat and humidity of the tropics. So guys, therefore, the plants of temperate origin can be grown in tropical areas in the vegetation zones of the mountain forest and that's for option c so let's look at the next question guys question number 14 it says which of the following problems could be characterized by very low rainfall cold nights hot days and fast blooming plants so guys the options we have here we have mountain forest tropical forest northern guinea savanna southern guinea savanna so the answer to this question is tropical desert the biomass characterized by very low rainfall cold nights hot days and fast blooming plants is the tropical desert deserts are characterized by extremely low rainfall which makes them one of the harshest environments on earth so the temperature in deserts can vary greatly and this brings about the extremely hot days and extremely cold nights so the plants in the deserts are adapted to these conditions and they often bloom quicker after rainfall so let's see the next question that's question number 15 it says the mangrove swamp in nigeria is restricted to the a sudan savannah b tropical rainforest c sahel savanna and d guinea savanna so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's the tropical rainforest so let's consider the next question question number 16 it says is severe and long dry season is a characteristic feature of a sahel savanna b guinea savanna c mangrove swamp the sudan savanna so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the sahel savanna the sahel savanna is known for its long severe dry seasons so let's consider the next question question number 17 it says northern guinea savanna can be found in a delta states b quara states c bono states and d plateau states so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's the bono states Northern Guinea savanna can be found in the Bono state. And that's the answer to this question. So let's consider the next question. Question number 18. Millet, some maize, and onions are common crops grown in Nigeria in the A. Sahel savanna, B. Sudan savanna, C. Mountain forests, and D tropical rainforest so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's the sudan savanna so let's consider the next question question number 19 it says the major type of forest in nigeria is the a grassland b marshy c desert and d rainforest so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the rainforest the major type of forest in nigeria is the rainforest so guys let's look at the next and the last question here in this video it's the question number 20 and it says a characteristic feature of tropical rainforest is that it a contains fewer number of plant species b contains large number of plant species c contains trees with narrow leaves d has total annual rainfall of less than 50 cm so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's it contains large number of plant species so guys this is a typical feature of tropical rainforest and guys this is where we'll end the video for today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not yet a subscriber. Also, if you have any specific question regarding this video, you can drop your question on the comment section below and we'll ensure to give you a response. Guys, don't also forget to share this video with your friends to enable us to reach out to more people out there. 
Also, we encourage you to join our channel membership in order to get premium information on Jam updates. So thank you for watching this video. See you next time.